Do you want to know how to create a monotone elevation for your project in less than 10 minutes? If so, then just continue watching. In this tutorial, I'll explain how I created this monotone elevation on Photoshop and in less than 10 minutes in a very easy and efficient way. Now, let's jump into screen recording to show you how I did that. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tips with Mona. If you haven't seen my face before, hi, my name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer, and I explain some architectural visualization tips on this channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and share, like, and hit the notifications bell on. But for now, let's start. Okay, so now I'll open Photoshop. I'll create new, I'll go to print and I'll select A3. I'll make the resolution 150 and I'll make it landscape. I'll hit OK. Okay, so this is my working place. As always, I prepared the elevation that I'm going to work with and few trees and some smoke and some texture to work with. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to drag the elevation to my working space and I'll hit OK. I'll move it down. Okay, zoom in. Uh, I'll try to produce a monotone elevation. Basically, the working will depend on using brushes and I'll show you how. I'll go back to my folder. I'll open these trees with Photoshop. Okay, now I'll go to edit. I'll go to define brush preset and this will create a new brush out of this tree. So I'll keep it called tree2. Just remove .png and I'll hit okay and now i have a brush okay let's close this tree now and let's open the other tree which is this one and do the same i'll do it real quick so now i'll start using these brushes first thing i want to do is that i want to create a new layer and i'll call it tree okay after creating this layer i'll go back to my original elevation layer and i'll go to my magic tool I'll select this area and I'll go back to my tree layer. That will allow me to place my brushes strokes only on the upper place. I don't want to mess up with the ground area of the elevation. Okay, now I'll go to my brush and I'll select brush number one. If you don't have the brush figures here, uh, it will be so hard for you to see which brush are you using. So for that, make sure that your brush tip is ticked on like mine. I'll use different opacities and different sizes of these brushes to create some monotone effect for my elevation. For that, I'm going to start with a smaller size of the tree and then I'll uh, increase them and then we will change them. Okay, I'll start with this. Now I'll select a higher opacity and I'll use a dark gray color. I'll start placing them randomly and then I'll change the size. And now I think I can start using the tree number two. I'll just create a new layer for this tree and then I'll change it from here and I'll do the same real quick. Okay, so now after placing these massive trees, it's time to add some grass. For that, I have downloaded some grass image and I'll create a brush for this grass. I'm 
after that I want to create some smoke right here for that I have already downloaded a smoke png image right here I'll drag it to my project I'll scale it down I'll place it on this chimney I'll zoom in we will fix it now but first let's change the color double click to open the layer style go to color overlay and change the color to gray and hit ok ok and then you can play with the opacity of the layer and then just zoom in and just delete the extras from here but first rasterize your layer and delete you can use your eraser to delete such sharp edges okay and now let's just create a new layer and let's call it birds because i want to use my birds collection right here i have some birds as you can see and i would like to use them i'll scale down my brush i'll place them right here and i'll reduce the opacity let's create a new layer and call it people and go to the brushes select people from any collection that you like or you have pay attention to the scale and proportions and just reduce the opacity okay now let's add some drama to this part down here for that i'll go to my folder i'll drag this concrete texture that i got right here and i'll scale it up i'll stretch it a little bit i'll select multiply and this time i'll go to my original layer i'll magic select this part I'll go back to my concrete layer and I'll select add layer mask. Okay, so now I have this part with concrete. I'll reduce the opacity. Okay, so now I have this part with some concrete. Now I want to do something. I want to duplicate this layer, but then I want to delete this mask so it gave me the effect on the whole layer but then i'll reduce the opacity that will give me some effect on my elevation i'll drag it up to apply it to everything so as you can see it makes a little bit of difference but it changes the whole spirit of the image if you want you can also add some drama to the house you can add some effects you can show some lighting coming out but i want to keep it so formal and so technical but with a little bit of twist for the surrounding of the house so this is the result of our tutorial today let me show you how to save it and then show you the before and after if you want to save it you can go to file save as save on your computer and then you select your preferred file location and then if you want to save it as pdf you can select pdf if you want to save it as jpeg you can save it okay let me call it elevation one okay and hit okay and then here it will ask you about the quality you can select maximum or you can change it to high it will be okay but I prefer using maximum and then just hit OK. OK, now let me show you the before and after. So as you saw, this is our after. This is the result that we've done in less than 10 minutes. And I want to show you now the before. This is the before. So we brought this poor elevation, very, very empty into this image in less than 10 minutes thank you so much for watching and this is the end of our video today thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and hit the notifications bell on see you in the next one bye